Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ping Ping and I make your visa related information. For the for today's video guys, I will teach you how to apply for an interview waiver program if you are applying for a new for renewal of your visa. Please take note that if you are renewing your visa for your US tourist visa, you don't need to attend an interview. So in this video, I will show you how to apply for an interview waiver program in order at the end of the video. Uh, you can see the interview waiver confirmation page. So let's say you already have an account and this is a CGI account from uh, the website of the US, the US Embassy. Right now I'm using the Philippines site but if you're from the United uh, from other countries like Singapore or Vietnam or or Indonesia you can also choose or change this into Indonesia okay so, once you're already inside the CGI portal, all you need to do is make an account, of course, and make sure that you already paid your US visa fee, or that's $160, in order for you to continue the, to uh, apply for interview waiver program, okay? So once you're already in the account, you have to click new application, and then click schedule, yeah, new application, schedule appointment, and then, of course, you're applying for, never mind that one, this one, new application, schedule appointment, okay? You click that, and then you can see the non-immigrant visa. Tourist visa is a non-immigrant visa. You have to click that, okay? And then, all right, so it's loading. All right, so you have to choose what types of non-immigrant visa you're applying. But since we're processing renewal of B1, B2, we have to click business tourism okay after that click continue okay so all right there's a question here you can actually choose b1 for visitors business b2 for visitor for pleasure or medical treatment but we're going to choose the b1 b2 which is visitor for business and pleasure so they're all the same okay so b1 b2 instead of choosing b1 or b2 only if you are renewing your tourist visa you click b1 b2 next all right so these are the information details blah 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 you have to never mind that okay continue okay so there's a question here we have to read the question please click add by name or add existing applicant if you have group family member including a child who needs to apply for a visa with you by the way guys since i'm teaching you how to apply for a renewal of visa which at the end of this video you have we will have we will receive a confirmation page if you're applying for a re renewal of visa make sure that all the pa the family members that you're going to add under your name are also renewing for US tourist visa. If you're one of your family member is not applying for renewal of visa, you don't need to add her. You have to make a different account for her or for him in order for him to apply for interview um, for US tourist visa. So if you're not applying for renewal of visa, you don't need to add that person. So if no one is applying under your name, you're only applying alone, so you don't need to add, okay? Let's just continue since I'm applying alone for renewal of tourist visa. All right, so are you under age of 14 or over age of 79 at the time of application? So if you are below age of 14 when you apply, you have a different restrict application for that. If you're also applying over 79 years old, you have also a different process for that. So we are applying as a regular age, we're above 14 and below 79. So are you under age 14 or over the age of 79 at the time of application? You have to click no. Okay, when applying as a family or group, all members must be able to answer yes to the following questions, okay? So yeah, if you add one member which is not applying for renewal of visa, you will have a hard time removing that person so better do not include the person who is applying for who is a new applicant for tourist visa this is only for renewal so make sure all family members are applying for renewal of tourist visa for b1 b2 i have a previous b1 b2 visa that i wish to renew so yes next 
When applying as a family, you must all answer yes again. If B1, B2, my prior visa was valid for 10 years, so yes. My prior visa is still valid or expired within the last 48 months. So make sure that your visa was expired within the last 48 months or was expired within, uh, it's still valid within the last 48 months. So you can either renew your visa if it's still not expired, but it may, make sure it's expiring within the next 48 months. Or if it expired, make sure that it's, it's still within the 48 months of expired period, okay? So make sure my prior visa is still valid or expired within the last 48 months. So that's it. So click yes. I have my passport with my previous visa from the same visa category in my possession. Yes. Okay. My name, date of birth, and gender, and my last visa are the same. You can click yes here, but example, you applied before for your U.S. tourist visa and you're single and now you're married and you want to renew your tourist visa, you can attach the marriage certificate that you change your, fam your last name, okay? So you can just have yes here. My most recent visa was was issued on or after my 14th birthday so yes next the last time applied for a visa it was approved okay so make sure you are renewing for u.s tourist visa yes i have not requested an extension or change of status through uscis so yes Do you confirm that all the members are qualified for the interview waiver if applying as an individual select yes? So yes. All right, so this is my delivery, uh, my premium delivery address. You just have to click continue. And there we go. Now, the website is asking for my receipt number or visa fee, MRV sleep number. That's why I make sure that before you apply for renewal visa, you already paid your US tourist visa fee, which is $160. Or in peso, that's around 9600 already now. Okay, so you have to input your MRV sleep and then you have to continue. After that, you will receive a confirmation form. Okay, this is how it looks like. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like now once you already successfully encode your MR, your receipt number and you will receive an congratulations. You have successfully completed the interview waiver process. Drop off your password along with the following documents to an LPC location. Click here to find nearest LPC. So if you're from the Philippines, the official career of the U.S. Embassy Manila is LBC now before it's to go. Now, these are the following requirements that you need to submit. If you are a tourist visa, you need to submit this letter, which is, we call it interview waiver confirmation letter. You have to print this, and then you have to provide your valid passport, the uh, unexpired passport. If you have old passport with the previous B1, B2 visa, you have to include it. Make sure they're all original, guys, when you submit. Two photos, color white background, and retouch two by two inch photograph on glossy glossy paper taken within the last six months in neutral facial expression and with both eyebrows and ears exposed. Of course, you need to fill up a DS-160 confirmation page. Okay, this is for tourist visa requirements. For F1 and M1 applicants, you have to provide your form I-120 from U.S. Educational Institution. For J-1, you have to provide uh, DS-219. And for applicants ages below 14 and over 79 years, you have to provide this confirmation letter, current and old passport. Again, your two photos, which two photos, which is two by two and retouched. And then you have to provide your DS-160 confirmation page. Okay. And that's all that you have to provide. So that's easy. That's how you apply for a uh, Dropbox or renewal of visa, which you don't need to do uh, interview all you need to do is process your ds160 pay uh, the mrv sleep and make an account at the cgi portal and some and you know just click 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 and once you have the interview waiver confirmation letter all you need to do is 
Submit the interview confirmation letter to go with your passport, this 160, and the rest of the documents. Bring it to the nearest LBC in your area and submit it to them. And the LBC will submit it to the, to the U.S. Embassy in Manila and wait for your U.S. tourist visa in the next two to three weeks. All right, that's all. That's how you process your interview waiver program or renewal of visa without interview. Dropbox, we call it also as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell button to get notified. And please like this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.